Hi. Hello. How Hi, are you guys mate. doing? Yeah, good. good. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you guys too. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Where are you based? North London. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah, not too far from each other actually. Oh, yeah, nice. that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where about you? Uh, like uh, south, so like uh, Canary Wharf ish. Okay. Ah, cool. Yeah. Where um, uh, Beth is, who's our producer, who plays Bella. In the oh, film. really? <laughs> um, he's near you. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, congratulations on the movie. It's, um, it's oh. a very nice one. You know, it really made me want to go out and, you know, party <laughs> as well and just go <laughs> to the things we can't do at the moment. So, um, yeah. 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 Oh, good. How do you um, like it? Yeah. So where did the story come from? Because you wrote and directed the movie as well. Um, well, I basically, I came up with the idea of Giddy Stratospheres based on some of my past um, experiences in the noughties myself. Um, during the first lockdown, I went for a run in the park um, when we were only allowed to go out once a day. Yeah. Uh, into some kind of indie rock bangers from the time to get me going. And uh, the Long Blondes came on and which is the title song which we named the film after Giddy Stratospheres that was the Long Blonde song um, and it just brought back loads and loads of memories from the time uh, some heartbreaks some uh, sort of things I've been pushing pushing back for a while emotionally um, and I was blown away basically by this all these memories coming back to me and I went home and obviously with all that time on our hands I wrote Giddy Stratospheres um, and before I knew it, I was asking uh, the Long Blondes themselves, Kate and Dorian, for permission to use the song uh, to inspire the film and also name the film after that. Mm -hmm. uh, and they loved the idea and they've been nothing but supportive uh, since then. So I wrote the film, put it together, made a teaser trailer, um, found Jamal, who was our star, <laughs> yeah. um, and with of, of lots of my best friends managed to make the film basically mm -hmm. and how did you come across Jamal was it like through casting or did you guys uh, know each other beforehand no um so me and uh Beth uh who plays Bella who's our producer we uh needed to that was a really that was number one finding the right person mm -hmm. to play Daniel be Daniel's the key character and represent somebody from my past so it was quite a feat um mm -hmm. And we put out a casting call uh, for audition tapes uh, to start with. And uh, to be honest with you, when we fell in love with Jamal immediately, we had loads of people audition for Daniel. And both of us knew from the word go that he was the right guy. <laughs> uh, but we still had to audition uh, people in person. So we, we, we saw him in an actual audition studio and he just completely blew us away. I mean, his audition tape was brilliant like hilarious moving and he's just such a star um but we we had to we had to do the actual real auditions and um when he left we ran around and danced and jumped about <laughs> we were so excited to have found him and he was our guy and, and the rest is history and now and now he's my brother forever <laughs> <laughs> well that's really? good that's <laughs> um, and so Jamal what were your thoughts when you um read the script for the first time when I read it I well even from the casting breakdown I I knew that it was something that I wanted to do and be a part of and then reading the script and how well it's written and how you capture all the the themes and the stories and these people's lives is amazing and I knew that I loved the character and I loved the story and I wanted to be a part of it and yeah it just it blew me away and I knew that I need I needed to play Daniel and mm -hmm. here I am <laughs> yeah. and you did very great you did <laughs> thank you so much thank you, thank you. Um, I had the best time doing it honestly nice was it easy for you to put um, yourself in his shoes did you have like the similar lifestyle like rock music and you know all that the so, yeah so um it was in, well a great collaboration between me and Laura um, and she trusted me enough to put a lot of my own self in it being um, a black gay man um, taking those elements from a single parent home 
um, putting it into Daniel was was a breeze um, and really, really fun because he's so unapologetically him and mm -hmm. loyal and loving. And yeah, it was just an incredible um, character to play. Mm -hmm. And so what was the first scene you guys acted together? Because it's like a lot of scenes in the movie all between you guys too. Well, we did a teaser trailer originally, which helped us promote the film early on. Um, so I guess that was the first thing we did, wasn't yeah. it, mate? Yeah. We were just, that we were just sort of, actually it was a really good warm up for us actually, because we clicked straight away. We yeah. were friends way, which was, yeah. you know, obviously brilliant for the film and brilliant for us, you know, because Lara and Daniel are so connected in every way. They're almost like the same person. Mm -hmm. um, so we did this teaser trailer where we would, we bonded on that but what yeah. was the first uh god i can't even remember what was the first scene that we did for for giddy was it the train, was it the train? yeah maybe it was the train i love that we don't remember blur <laughs> 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 now because we did it because yeah. the, the thing with filming is you do everything in the wrong order yeah, so yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> probably the train scenes um yeah which were pretty heavy going and obviously um quite hard work for both of us for different reasons um and but no I, I mean it, nothing was ever difficult um for me at all obviously it's it, a bit of a challenge directing and f acting in in a film that you've written but was mm -hmm. made brilliantly easy by Jamal who who supported me completely the whole time so nothing ever mm -hmm. felt difficult always felt like we were them mm -hmm. we were definitely Lara and Daniel all the time nice. <laughs> and so I'm um, starring in your own movie were there like um obviously you said it was difficult but was it like harder than you expected it to be or was it okay or easier in the end um I don't know if I'd ever I don't know if I would I would do it again um okay. but I also never take it back because obviously the story being um based on my own life uh mm -hmm. elements of my life I it had to be me really there was there was a moment at one point where I thought of casting a redhead to play me mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I it had it had to kind of I just felt like it needed to be me that did it in the end and I'm glad I did it was exhausting mm -hmm. but um I definitely it was made so much easier and it was such a joy because of the support I had from Jamal um who felt like you know my and a limb we felt like each other's limbs during it because we were just you know we had each other's support and also Josh who plays Jasper he was our assistant director uh and he we whenever I he, he was just amazing like whenever I didn't have it in me to to do all the jobs he would do everything I couldn't do and also gave me feedback on my performance and he's one of my best friends and like a brother to me so he if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to do the film, if I'm honest. And Beth and our DOP, Jack, you know, we were all like a real team. So that made it easy. But I was definitely exhausted a lot of the time. But mm. luckily, Lara is constantly living off no sleep. So it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> it just fit in. <laughs> so, you know, it, even days when I was feeling a little bit exhausted, um, you know, it didn't really matter. It's not like she was a, like a healthy spring chicken. It's all right. <laughs> yeah and so um for the both of you like um obviously it's based on your life and your experience so um for you you already know what the hardest or like the most emotional scene was but for Jamal as well what was the most emotional scene or like the scene that will that you got the most I think a lot of the stuff involving um Denise who plays my mum um especially there's a scene near the end between um, me and Lara talking about um, my mum and her kicking me out for being gay. Um, um, and I think that scene in particular um, was tricky because it's, it's not that it happened to me luckily, but it's um, quite close to home being, like I said, a black gay man. Um, so that was quite a heavy, one of the heavier scenes um but again with the support of Lara and the team it was um Laura sorry Lara <laughs> Laura and the team it was um it was honestly a dream and I felt so supported um 
yeah, so I say that for me and a lot of the stuff with Denise, I think as well. I have to say as well that the scene that Jamal's referring to where Lara and Daniel are uh, talking and he's he's come to stay with her basically because he's been kicked mm -hmm. out. Um, that was a real collaboration. And mm -hmm. I, even though I wrote the film, there was so many elements to Daniel's character that he collaborated. <laughs> I just called you Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jamal's, Jamal's character that he collaborated on, on in that particular scene mm -hmm. um, was definitely a collaboration. And, and he put so much into that, that I, I actually think that that might have been Obviously, there's a very heavy scene, a couple of very heavy scenes that I had mm -hmm. to form and that were really hard uh, emotionally. But I think that one was the most touching. And that was the last, that, that particular scene with myself and Jamal, um, mm -hmm. where he's referring, what, he's, what yeah. uh, I was referring to, uh, when I saw the film back in its entirety for the first time, even though there are scenes where I'm having really heavy shit going on, that one with me and Jamal was the one that got me the most. Mm. I was actually in tears watching it because I felt like our, our connection was so pure. And um, I thought Jamal's performance in that was pretty much Oscar worthy, mate. <laughs> it's like really, and like really blew me away. So I think I'm gonna go with that one as well. Okay. And so let's say for your next collaboration, the roles will be, um, Reverse. So Jamal, you would be like directing Laura Jean in a movie. Do you already have like any ideas what kind of role you would give her? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. She can kind of do anything. She's <laughs> genuinely incredible. Um, but um, we've already been working together on a few things. Um, and I 100% I know that it will continue. Um, mm -hmm. We were saying before that we're kind of stuck with each other now. So this is, this is kind of it. <laughs> Okay. You should tell her about your films that you're making. Yeah, so I'm... Yeah, that was um, going to be my next question. Like, you already have, like, other stuff coming up. Absolutely. So I'm, I've am i also written and um, I'm directing a collection of shorts tackling racism and black stories. Um, I've released one so far. It's called White Noise. And I had the help of pretty much most of the Giddy team filming. Um, Laura was an incredible help. She helped me co-direct. Um, we got... Beth in as well, the producer of Giddy, as well as Jack and Jason, the camera and DOP guys from um, Giddy as well. Um, but yeah, we're we're already working together. We filmed one, which is out, and we are editing the second one, and we've got one more to film, so we're in preparation for that. But I'm super excited for people to see the that. One I'm super excited. Out called White Noise, if people yeah. want to. Watch. And yep. where can people check where can out. people watch it? Yeah, YouTube. Check it out on YouTube. Okay, Type YouTube. in white noise. Um and it's up there. And I had the opportunity to um play the lead as well in it. Um so I completely understand, even though on a very <laughs> smaller scale, um, how important it is to have an incredible team. So I'm so glad that I had you by my side. Oh babe. Anytime. <laughs> um, I've got what have I got coming up? So I've been writing um well, I've finished. I actually, I tried to cramp. Oh. Sorry. Hello. Someone was yeah. trying to call me. Um, <laughs> so I, I, my next projects are, um, a, my cat has come to say hi. <laughs> um, I have been working on a series set in the 90s called Stutter. Um, which is my next project and also nice. Mm -hmm. And, um, also a uh, mockumentary film called Venom Falls, uh, which is about a weird little town um, of strange characters. So those are my two projects that I'm looking to do next, but the series is coming up first. Mm -hmm. And are you starring it as well? Or do you Absolutely already... not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just directing uh, those ones, um, which is gonna be a real treat. I've been enjoying, um, getting to work as a director. Uh, so I've been also just uh, finished uh, two music videos. Mm -hmm. uh, one for an amazing artist called Baby Soul for a, a sing her single Every Day, which is out now. And okay. the next single I have coming out, um, uh, band, sorry, my cat is attacking. It's okay. <laughs> I, have, I have two cats at home <laughs> as well, so. <laughs> um, I, yeah, so I've, I've got a, uh, 
uh, the next release of a band <laughs> video that I directed yeah. called Abstract Doom. And it's by a brilliant band called um, Industry Standard. And mm -hmm. that'll be out soon. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, looking forward to all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and so um yeah that was actually my last question so um, oh, cool. yeah thank you so much for this interview guys and uh good thank luck with so everything much. else and thank um you. for your support looking forward to reading it mm -hmm. yeah no worries it was a good movie anyway so <laughs> oh, so thank glad you. thank you bye, bye. Yeah, thank you bye bye it just all got so out of hand <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know. <laughs> that went well. There's a train at the station. I'll just never sleep again. This morning. I'm not going to kill you or eat you. I'm not a praying mantis. Okay, it's breakfast vodka. I think we should talk about last night. <gasps> la, 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 I'm serious. Turn, turn around. around. Don't turn around. Turn around. Wait. this time, Laura. It feels different, you know? I am family. My girl! Thank God, babe. Where did you go? When did you become such a boss killer? Stop! She takes after me. This guy might want to ride in the with you. wasn't me.